in a remote point located on the Kyrgyz Kazakh border and seven kilometers west of the China border, there's a big and savage mountain. Its name is Khan Tengri, and it is one of the most beautiful peaks in the world. Its shape is reminiscent of K2. In fact, its summit and sharp ridges form an almost perfect pyramid covered in snow and ice. Many climbers consider Khan Tigri perhaps the world's most beautiful peak because of its geometric ridges and its symmetry. During sunset, the main summit often glows deep red due to the mountain consisting largely of marble rock. The Kazakh name Khantal means blood mountain in relation to this phenomenon. Khan Tengri is the second highest mountain in the Tian Shan range after the Babiada Peak, 7,439 meters, located a short distance south. It is one of the five snow leopard peaks of the former Soviet Union. Its geographical elevation is 6,995 meters, but the glacial cap rises to 7,010 meters. In other words, Khan Tigri is the most northerly 7,000 meter peak in the world making it a particularly dangerous place to be under-equipped and ill-experienced. The northern latitude also makes the climbing season very short, mid-July to end of August. A team from Kazakhstan made the first winter ascent of Khan Tigri on February 7, 1992. Khan Tigri is a popular mountain to climb but still receives relatively few climbers compared to Peak Linen. The standard west ridge can be approached from the north, Kazakhstan, or south, Kyrgyzstan. The southern approach is technically easier, but objectively more dangerous with more fatalities. This mountain is not only similar to K2 in its shape, but also for savage death. Austrian mountaineer and expedition leader Tony Dumsberger died while descending after having climbed Khan Tigri in August 1992. Traditionally, the classic route to Khan Tigri ascends the trough of the Semenovsky Glacier from the south Ilniacek to gain the west ridge at a 5,800 meter call east. Unfortunately, this route between 4,500 and 5,200 meters is threatened by Serac falling from both sides. In August 1993, an enormous avalanche emanating from a huge Serac bond on Chapiev obliterated this section of the glacier killing the celebrated Soviet Valery Kristati and two British climbers. Since that time, it's become more usual to reach the west ridge from the north. This is longer, but objectively much safer. However, ascents from the south have still been made on a regular basis, almost 11 years to the day from the time of this accident, a large group of climbers, reportedly 40 to 50, from many different nationalities set off on the Semenovsky Glacier. At 6 a.m., a huge ice avalanche swept the flanks and into this group. Five Czechs, three Russians, and three Ukrainians were killed, and many others were injured, some seriously. In 2004, more than a dozen mountaineers were killed in a large avalanche on the Pogorbetsky route, the most popular route on the mountain. No permits are currently required in climbing in Kyrgyzstan. The government abolished them a couple of years ago. However, it remains a very formidable mountain. And now, are you ready to climb this mountain?